Well, howdy guys. If you guys are wanting to see a massive viable white-tailed deer that I killed, you guys are in the right spot. Here's a quick sneak peek. <sighs> thing is sweet. Be sure to stay tuned to see the hunt where that thing was on. Anyway, let's get into the video. Well, what up, <laughs> anyway, well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to the Hartung Family Farms, and today, this video has semi nothing to do with deer hunting. I will... Thought he was doing something behind there. No. <laughs> I just literally just sitting here. <laughs> They're messing with me. I don't like it. <laughs> today, like I said, this is the second video of deer season, second day of first season, and we're going to be out hunting right the, hunting my dad's ground. I'm going there? Up in Bellevue, he had to pull over. Cool. So guys, again, this will be there will be some warnings when there is graphic material. There'll be some there'll be an indicator right down there if there is some graphic material on there. And again, there will be a warning 30 seconds prior. So just keep that in mind. And again, we are we do do deer drives. That is the practice way of hunting around here. A lot of guys do it around here. That is what we seen as the most effective way to harvest uh, deer and to kind of control the population. So let's get into it. Bobby, Nevin, and I are blocking or are driving the first one, and we'll see what we can see. Ready to go. You can hop this fence. This one's good. Or this gate. This one's good. Always hop by the where it's anchored. Alrighty, guys. So we're just starting the first drive. And to my critics of deer drives, you guys will see how tough of a terrain this stuff is. Like the deer just hunker down until the very end. I mean, you guys see if you watch my muzzleloader videos where I haven't gotten anything in the past seven years. Where. There he is right there. It's a doe running right there through the drive. Oh, he's still sitting there. I had to try it. <laughs> well, that doe was about 100, 150 yards. I let him up about eight inches. It was sitting broadside at me, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh, if someone gets a shot at her. I probably missed low too. I probably didn't aim up high enough. I haven't sighted this gun in like five years, so definitely gonna go out and shoot target practice next year. So again, this you'll see today, but the terrain here is awful. Deer just like to hunker in up until end of shooting hours and if we all did that wouldn't have near as many deer harvested which is more hazards on the road over overpopulation issues etc etc so that's why we a lot of people in this part of the country choose to do, run to run deer drives. If that's your opinion you guys don't like it that's okay that's I, I respect your opinion but that's what a lot of people do in this area of the country. Just shot at a smaller doe it was like 125 yards away. Had a backstop sitting broadside. I had to lob some slugs at it. Shot twice. Didn't hit it. But the biggest thing is I, I'm if I was gonna miss, I purposely missed behind her to kept her running in the drive. How did that get way down here? This corn can fling sometimes off the combine, but I'm guessing someone will grab that. There's so much barbed wire here. <laughs> Literally in the middle of nowhere. I think Weber's lost a cow at some point. Now, oh, there's that barbed wire again. Man, why do I keep hitting barbed wire? Ay, ay, ay. Holy crap. That could have been bad. Just about fell. Oh, this stuff is thick. Definitely don't want to go through that. That is very bully. Well, not crossing that either. Some of this train is just impassable. That's why it's so fun. Now we're getting into my uncle's property here soon. So those are our beans right there that are still in. Hey, this fence crossing is fun. Best bet to cross right here because that, that is like impassable. 
<clears throat> Look how steep this stuff is. It's like a 20 degree slope. Ay, ay, ay. I am gassed. <sighs> Blockers are right there, which means the drive is just about over. Which means I am exhausted, I'm sweating. Like I said, the camera does not do this justice how steep and side sloping bully it is. I see one blocker right there. Next one should be probably straight ahead of me, maybe 50 yards, 75 yards. So the drive is just about over. Alrighty, from that last drive, we had one deer down. It was, uh, what that guy's is what first deer so just a little button buck but hey it was his first deer he was pretty happy about it and his kids got to see it so that was pretty cool so we're just probably gonna start our second drive today this is my dad's hollow so we're gonna drive that i'm gonna be driving again i'm gonna be setting the left side so we'll see what we can do just quick reference we were in this cornfield last week did this cornfield first then this one then my dad's then the, my dad's other one which my dad's other one you'll see a little bit Head straight in here and come over oh, there's the yep you don't need to walk in it but just walk next to it he shot it he shot it at the I thought it was dead because I saw it kick because I didn't think it was going to come out but 10 minutes later I was up on that point there 10 minutes later I see it hobbling up here it took five minutes but... all right starting on my dad's drive this is my dad's actually no this is my uncle's timber it'll join in with my dad's a little bit later but we have cattle in here year-round not year-round but we have it on here nine eight months out of the year two months they're on corn stalks and then two months they're down at Pat's place getting calved so there's pretty good cattle trails through here. Well, that's new. That definitely collapsed this year. I didn't realize that. Must have collapsed from that big old windstorm we had. Just saw a dang coyote run that way. If I say that thing again, that thing's going down. Hate coyotes, especially the timber where we have our calves. I oh, haven't heard any shots this drive, which is honestly surprising because usually we get quite a bit of deer that jump out and run on this one. I'm not sure, but Cameron should be up there. Other drivers are in line with me. So we should have enough blockers. I know I've seen a coyote, but I haven't seen any deer. I believe last year I saw, I was kind of right up on top of that knob and deer were just running right along here. Ducked in and Cameron and his buddy Jake got a shot at him. I'm hot. I just had to push out two fingers. Basically I have to walk three times as much as the rest of the guys to push in some fingers. And when I say fingers, guys, it's basically just a little tree jut out that comes out and basically takes what it takes water out of the low point just i know that an extra form of waterways for soil management deer are always hiding in them so you gotta walk them but now we're back up and moving i haven't heard any shots in this drive there they are on the line hi cows hi moms How's it going? These are all our cows. Actually, these are probably 70, 65% of our cow-calf pairs. These are all the moms. Three of, three of these are mine, about 30 of them are my dad's, and about 25 are Pat's. Shoot him, Cameron. 
over there. The deer coming right back into the drive. That's a young one though. So a young, a young one just came in right there. I wonder if Ted or someone will blam it. Right at you, Cameron. Right at you. Shoot him. Shoot them. Shoot them, Cameron. Shoot them. Blam them. Blam them. Blam them. <laughs> His gun jammed. <sighs> I heard a k k k. His gun must have jammed. Gosh darn it. A little baby. No, I'm not gonna shoot that thing. It's a little baby. It's a little baby. So I, don't, I don't think they're gonna bust out there because of the dike. I think I need to move over to this next low spot. It's literally a deer right there at Cameron. Came back at him. Must have been a really young one for him not to shoot it. You can see it running right there. Just went in the timber. This has been a goofy drive because there's been a deer. One deer came from that way over here, and another one came from that way over here. So I don't. Where are they coming from? Could have been those hunters over there, but they left a long time ago. They left like a half hour, 45 minutes ago. I don't know. There's Bobby. Bobby or Mel? One of those two. Oh, you big old buck just ran out the back, Cameron. Well, that was exciting. I dropped my GoPro, saw 15 deer on that one. One big old buck, which I'm not sure how that thing snuck through. It was way back there, the food plot. A fork and a fawn that I could have shot at, but all tiny. I'm not going to kill those. And then a bunch of them that Cameron should have shot. It's a fork! It's a fork! It's a fork! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> a lot of shooting going on down there. Big old buck ran out the back. That was a shooter. Way back there, it ran right at the food plot edge. Another one. There it goes. I don't have a shot at it. Bye. Bye. Bye, little dog. That's a baby, anyway. The thing's running at me. 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 A little baby. I can definitely tell that was a young one because it was stupid because it literally just ran right down here. Got out in the corn, ran all the way back around. <laughs> well, I heard quite a bit of shots, so let's hope there's at least one deer down. <sighs> well, there was a pile of deer in that drive, that's for sure. I saw 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 15 deer in there, and we did get one. Again, the, couple, the two I had shots at, one was a fork, which just a small buck. I'm not gonna shoot that. And one was a little fawn. That thing was tiny. And I'm not gonna shoot that either. Right where I was freaking standing, a deer runs out of this low spot. So I thought the drive was over because I don't see the drivers anymore. And sure enough, pops right out. I was right here going over to help Cameron look and a doe pops out. And... <sighs> I am incredibly pissed off. All right, so here's what I know so far. Jesse shot at a buck. They're looking for blood. I shot, missed, didn't find any blood, double checked. So I'm gonna head back to the trucks. Alrighty, well, as far as I know, there are no deer down. Awesome. Kind of frustrates me how that drive went. A couple things I wish I would have done and a couple things I wish would have ha happened, but oh well, what do you do? Now let's regroup, it's only noon, we got time for at least two more drives.
get her done. Alrighty. Sweet. Gonna do this one again. This is the last drive we did yesterday. Got three deer out of it. Let's see how many we can get today. Alrighty guys, so the last drive we got a whopping zero out of about eight shots that were shot. Oh, one today. I'm gonna see if we can pile them up. Because this is, I think I don't think I'm gonna be hunting this week, so this is probably my last day. So let's see what we can do. Just starting Howard's, which is what we did. We did that yesterday, our last drive. That's a uh, gully and a half there. Well, if you can get across there, there's an easy crossing here. There's a gully. Perfect. Big buck by the cabin, huh? Sweet. Let's see if we can see him. Here's a nice little deer trail. Oh, that came in bad. I guess I see a blocker. I don't think there's anything here. What is up with all this barbed wire? This barbed wire is literally through a tree. Like how, how does that happen? Right. Oh. oh, there's blood from yesterday. Let's go look at the gut pile. Oh yeah, look at all that blood. A good shot there. There's the gut pile. Oh yeah, she's been chewed through. Doesn't take long for coyotes to find it. Alrighty guys, we didn't get anything on that last drive. Cameron missed like 11 times. No, just kidding. But... <laughs> He was messing with you guys. Now we're gonna start this last drive of the day. Probably the last drive of the year for me. I to get over I'm trying to remember. Not this way. Not that way. <laughs> Starting the next drive. I'm setting all the blockers. A big one. Yeah, he's down. Get him. That's a big one. Oh, I'm freaking shaking. Alrighty guys, 25 yards. I stepped it off. I've been hearing him no one around for a while. And he just comes out of CRP. You'll see it here soon, but oh. Ooh, that's a nice buck. 
I am shaking. <laughs> this thing is awesome. This thing is thick. Got him some bites too. Yeah. It was over there, then over here, then over there, then over here. It was this one, and then two two fawns. It did not want to come out at all. It did not. There's seven does that came out at the top. I saw, saw I saw one of them. Yeah, there's seven. I heard him jog up that way, mm -hmm. and then jog all the way back down, and he just did not want to come out here at all. Well, because I remember, like, when I first started he knew these guys were down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he wasn't, he wasn't, they weren't going to go any far, because it was him and I know I saw a fawn, because uh -huh. the fawn was like, after I shot that one, the fawn was just sitting there waiting for a little bit. Uh -huh. And I think there was a bigger doe with it as well. Okay. Where'd, I, where'd I hit him at? It looks like. Right in there. Oh, yeah. Straight in the jugular. It's a big spike. Thanks. Thick. Oh, just he's an 11? Yeah. Wow. Depending on what you count. That's an there's, inch. There's another one down here, too. That one's an inch. That one's an inch. You got in a couple fights. So that's 13, 14 technically. Wouldn't score very good. No. Alrighty guys, we're heading down the hill. Thank you to the landlord for picking us up in the gator because this thing's an old deer. It's a big deer. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. That was an exhilarating hunt and probably one of the coolest hunts I've ever been on. Easily the biggest deer I've ever shot. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. There's gonna be a lot of farming content coming next. I got probably five or six harvest videos in the queue and we're still harvesting guys, so plenty to come. There is gonna be more deer hunting videos coming, not any more shotgun, but there is gonna be more muzzle loading coming, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms, and of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.